flat or sparkling, decoding the bubbly query in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a simple yet common question you might encounter in restaurants or social gatherings, flat or sparkling. If you've ever been puzzled by this question or just want to polish your English dining etiquette, you're in the right place. Let's get the bubbles out of the way and clarify what this phrase really means. First things first, let's break down the question. Flat or sparkling? Is a question typically asked by servers in restaurants, cafes, or at social events where drinks are being served. It's all about your preference for the type of water you wish to drink. But what do flat and sparkling actually mean in this context? Flat water is your regular, still water with no added carbonation. It's water in its most natural form, without bubbles. Sparkling water, on the other hand, is carbonated water that contains bubbles or fizz. It's sometimes referred to as soda water, club soda, or carbonated water. Now that we know what the terms mean, let's delve a little deeper. The choice between flat and sparkling water can sometimes reflect personal taste or even cultural preferences. In many European countries, for example, Sparkling water is very popular and often the default when ordering water. In contrast, in other parts of the world, flat water might be the norm. When you're asked, flat or sparkling, the server is giving you the option to choose according to your preference. It's a common question in higher-end restaurants or in places that aim to provide a more sophisticated dining experience. So, how should you respond when faced with this question? It's pretty straightforward. If you prefer water without any bubbles, you can simply say, flat, please. If you're in the mood for something with a bit of fizz, then, sparkling, please, is the way to go. It's also perfectly acceptable to ask for more details if you're unsure. You might inquire about the brands available or the source of the sparkling water, as some may have added minerals or come from specific springs. Let's put our learning into practice. Imagine you're at a fancy restaurant and the server asks, flat or sparkling? How would you respond? Think about your preference and why you might choose one over the other. Practicing scenarios like this can help build your confidence in using English in real life situations. And there you have it, the bubbly mystery of flat or sparking, decoded. We hope this video has clarified the meaning behind this common question and that you feel more prepared to answer it with confidence the next time you're dining out. Remember, learning English is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about understanding cultural nuances and everyday interactions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language learning tips. Cheers to your learning journey, and see you in the next video.